I am Santosh Vaidanka. Today we are discussing about the control engineering. This is the problem. Sketch the root locus of a system g of s into h of s k divided by s into s plus 3 into s square plus 2s plus 3. Number of poles 4. How? s is 0 minus 3. And this is nothing but a complex number. With the help of a calculator, you have to find out the equation 5. Shift setup equation 5 uh, 3 1 2 2 here minus 1 plus i minus i plus minus 1 minus i I have written in terms of j therefore number of poles will be 4 number of zeros there is no uh, zeros here this is a denominator it is a numerator and the numerator is no zero zero. Number of branches terminating. Number of branches p is greater than z, therefore p is equal to n is equal to 4. Number of branches terminating infinity will be p minus z, therefore p is nothing but 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. The root lock is symmetric about the real axis, the root lock is present on the real axis. Angle of asymptotes, this is the formula where p is nothing but 4, z is 0, minus 1 is nothing but 3. Up to 3, you have to take the values 0, 1, 2, and 3. Substitute here. We will get 45, 135 and substitute in place of k as a 2, you will get 225 and substitute theta 3 is equal to 2 into 3 plus 1 to 180 divided by 4 minus 0, you will get 315. This is the angles there you will go to it. Now find out the angle of centroid. Summation of P. Summation here 0 minus 3 minus 1 plus j minus 1 minus j z is 0 divided by 4 minus 0. This j, this j cancels. It becomes what? Sigma is equal to minus 1.25. 1.25. Now break away point. Break away point is nothing but 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0. This value is obtained from here, g of s and h of s, right here. 1 plus k divided by s, s plus 3, s square plus 2s plus 2. Now this can be written as equal to 0, s, s plus 3, s square plus 2s plus 2, plus k is equal to 0. For the simplification it becomes, multiply this to this 2, s square plus 3s s square plus 2s plus 2 plus k is equal to 0 next multiply this two it becomes s raised to 4 plus 5 s square plus 8 s square plus 6x plus k is equal to 0 is equal to 0. Further it becomes s raised to 4 plus 2s cube plus 2s square plus 3s cube 3s cube plus 6s square plus 6s plus k is equal to 0 s raised to 4 cube is only one term plus plus uh, cube 5 5 s cube plus uh, 2 and 8 s square plus 6 s plus k is equal to 0 k is equal to 
0. Now k will be minus h to 4 plus 5s cube plus 8s square plus 6s. Now dk by ds is equal to 0. Differentiate this one. 4s square plus 15s square plus 16s plus 6 is equal to 0. Zero. Now find out the root. Root five, four, four, fifteen, sixteen, six. The root will be s yes, is equal to minus two point two eight minus zero point seven three zero. 7 plus or minus plus 0 0.345 this is plus or minus j therefore this is a complex one you have to neglect this one you have to consider only this part you have to neglect one more in terms of negative it appears you have to count you have to neglect this part in the breakaway point you have to only consider this part next you have to find out cross point. Next find out crossover point of imaginary axis by using the RH criteria. RH criteria. Here's this equation. Here's this equation. S to 4 plus 5 S cube plus 8 S square plus 6 S plus K is equal to 0. S to 4 S cube S square S1, S0, 1, 5, 8, 6 and K. Cross multiply this and this. This and this you will obtain 5 into 8 minus 6 into 1 divided by 5. Divided by 5, it will be around 6.8. 6.8 6.8 next multiply this and this 5k into minus 0 into 1 divided by 5 is a thing but k here k next multiply this and this you will obtain 40.8 minus 5k divided by 6.8 and finally you will obtain k. Solve for this value in order to find out the k. This will be 40.8 minus 5k divided by 6.8 less than greater than or equal to 0 minus 5k is nothing but is equal to minus 40.8 this becomes 0 here this and this cancer the k will be k will be 8.16 therefore 0 is less than equal to k less than equal to 8.16 next you have to find out the s square terms in order to find out the imaginary axis cutting s square for imagination axis therefore it becomes 6.8 s square plus k is equal to 0 6.8 s square plus k value is nothing but 8.16 is equal to 0 therefore s is nothing but plus or minus 1.1 j 1.1 j now you have to find out the angle of departure when we have to find out the angle of departure and in this way the complex occur you have to see here in this minus 1 plus j minus 1 minus j if in this way in the pole in this way appears then you have to go for the angle of departure. Now find out the angle of departure. It is very easy for finding the angle of departure here. Draw a diagram. Here of diagram you have to draw for drawing the angle of upper departure. Now 
this is imaginary real real sigma real sigma so i can say this is 1 2 3 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and they have said a triangle of departure here as per the diagram it will be minus 1 plus j means here it appears here minus 1 plus j minus 1 minus j i will say this is a theta a theta b next pole will be a pole will be 0 next is minus 3 from the this point draw a dotted line in this now now you see we are obtained from this part 0 minus 3 it is lying in the this part plus or minus 1j minus minus 1 minus j here it lies now what is the angle here here I am referring 5p1 this is a referring 5p2 and this is a refer 5p3 you can refer just I want to refer this one is 5p1 you can refer it 5 2 you can refer it 5 2 you can refer it for the reference purpose I have considered this one next I will find the value of this one now 5p1 is nothing but 90 degree 90 degree now 5p2 is nothing but 180 minus minus tan inverse perpendicular distance by base what is perpendicular distance 1 base is nothing but 1 1 divided by 1 you have to do in this way the answer will be 135 degree now 5p2 5p3 is nothing but perpendicular tan inverse perpendicular distance divided by base perpendicular distance is 1 the base is nothing but from 1 to 3 2 is there it is 2 2 the answer will be the answer will be 26.56 degree now summation of 5p is nothing but everything summation 5p1 plus 5p2 plus 5p3 it will be 90 plus 135 plus 26.56 the answer will be 251.656 degree similarly there is no zero term if there is a zero term you have to take it at assume it there is a zero term here in this way zero then you have to write in this way and you have to find out phi z1 you have to do it but there is no zero term here. therefore phi 0 is nothing but 0. Next, next you have to find out theta a. Theta a is nothing but always it is 180 minus phi. Now what is phi? Phi is nothing but phi is nothing but summation of p minus summation of z. Summation of z is where p is nothing but 251.56 z is nothing but 0. Substitute here 180 minus 251.56. The answer will be minus 71.56. Now theta b will be in terms of negative minus theta a you have to write it. The answer will be 71.56. This is the procedure you have to follow in order to find out the angle of departure. Now we are drawing the graph. This is the graph I am considering. Now the scale. I am considering 1 unit is equal to 2 cm. X and Y 1 unit is equal to 2 cm. This is the graph I am going to draw. This is the imaginary part. This is the real part. Now first number of poles I will locate. Number of poles. First is 0. 0. 3. 3. Next is uh, minus 1 plus J. Minus 1 plus J minus 1 minus j I have located it then I will draw root locus where the root locus exists if you count it from this end 
there is only one pole. Therefore, the root locus exists between this part. Root locus exists between this part. Next, if you count it here, it becomes E1. There is no root locus will exist here. If you, if you hide it, the pole should be 1. Odd. If the poles are E1, the root locus doesn't exist. Now, this is the next go for dotted line here. Dotted line. Now next, after knowing say this one, uh, find out the centroid. Centroid is nothing but your uh, minus 1.25 centroid. Sigma is here. 1.25. 1.25. This is this is 1. 1 1.5. 1.25 here. Sigma is equal to minus 1.25. This is a centroid. Next, go for angle 45 degree. From the centroid, it is 45 degree. degree. Next is 135. One thirty five. One thirty five. Forty five degree and one thirty five. Forty five degree. Approximate it appear in this way. This is 45, this is 135. If you count it, this will be 225, and this will be 315. This will be 315. If you count it, it will be 225, and this will be 135. 135. And this completes. Okay. Now, after getting this one, find out the roots. Now, this is the roots. Root minus 2.28. Minus 2.28 is approximately, it becomes 3, 2.5, 2.5. This is 2, 2.5, 3 approximately. If you are getting confusion, then do one thing here. What is the value here? Minus 2.28, right here. Minus 2.28 into 2, you can do it. And do the calculator. Minus 0.28 into 2 is nothing but 4.58 count it now this is 1 2 3 4 4.58 5 8. Five, nothing but approximately here that's it this is the root located and it is uh, it is marked over the root locus this is a complex part you have to neglect in case of break even break away point now next is about the next part Next is about the imaginary part. The imaginary part here is minus plus or minus 1.1. 1 .1. Cut it here. 1.1 1 .1 around, around here. 1.1. Plus or minus 1.1. You have got the marking here. Next, this is theta A and this is theta B. What is the angle of departure here? 
angle of departure is an important rule angle of departure 71 minus 71.56 plus 71.56 now 71 negative negative means bottom positive means upward 71 from this side it should be 71 thin dotted line again 71 from this side from this direction thin line and next you have to draw in this way it goes in this way moves parallel up to infinity now similarly here moves in this way touches and moves in this way infinity infinity okay infinity next point point is here 1.1 it moves in this way approximately infinity and k value will be k is 8.16 this is the problem in this way you have to draw the graph when the angle of departure comes in picture i am satish gaidankar thank you very much